Please stand. The Lord, would you lead us in prayer and the two the pledge? Let's all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this great evening. The blessings of life, my over our family and friends and Stephen. Bless our soldiers, dear Heavenly Father, our first responders, the Savior, dear Heavenly Father, as protecting the citizens. Give us the knowledge and understanding to make the best decisions to see the Lord Father. Walk with us throughout the week. Talk to us through Jesus. Show us the way which we have to pray. Give us strength and understanding to the Lord Father. Thank you for all that you do in our lives, but most of all, the plan of salvation. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Yes, here. There. Here. Zach Marlowe. Here. Good news. Here. 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 We were privileged, we are privileged to have one of our county commissioners that is holding the highest office you can hold in the County Commissioner Association statewide. Uh, and at this time, uh, Ms. Ford, would you stand, please? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you the president elect for the County Commissioners Association, Mr. Rusty Orr. or something gets a burst to your death. <laughs> no, no. But hey, we appreciate you and I'm sure that you'll do a fantastic job. I'll do what I can. Okay. <laughs> also good to have Sue back. Call our back. They've been out. It's good to have them here. Thank you. Now before we move on, I have two others that I would like to recognize. Uh, Mr. Kitt, would you stand? Mr. Marlowe, would you stand? These two gentlemen were elected to the board on the education committee at the state level representing East Tennessee. Guys, good job. Thank you, it was also No. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Moving on. Approval of previous minutes. Make a motion to approve it. So moved, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by Ord, seconded by Kids. Any discussion? Seeing none. Vote, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Previous minutes passed. No Republic. Motion approved or no Republic. So moved, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by Ord, seconded by Kids. Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. You're fine, sir. Rusty? Oh, sorry. I had an ink pen in one spot time. It's still not going, Rusty. I tried. There we go. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Applications have passed. Committee reports and minutes. Mr. Chair, I make a motion. We've approved the committee. Yes, sir. I have a motion. I have a second. I have a second by Davis. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Orr. We have some committee, more committee reports to add on the night, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Individuals. I think we had some uh, committees that have, have met since then. So, yes, sir. Uh, both, please. 
Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Many reports have passed. Approval of budget amendments and other funding resolutions. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we approve 11 1 through 11 14 of the budget amendments. Okay, I have a motion to have a second. Second. Second by Gorms. Any discussion? Seeing none, vote please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Also, I think we have uh, the school debt service transfer resolution, Mr. Marlowe. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to the school debt resolution. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Mr. Chairman, I'll second his motion on the school debt service trans transfer resolution. Okay, I have a motion by Kent, seconded by Orrin. Any discussion? Seeing that vote, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. Amen. Approval for payment of the monthly travel credit card. I so move. I have a motion by Gorn. Do I have a second? So move, Mr. Chairman. Seconded by Kitts. Any discussion? And that is all cards. That's all cards, yes. The county commission and the mayors. No discussion? Vote, please. No, it's not doing anything, Mr. There we go. Thanks. Got to be said. Okay. We need everyone to vote first, and then we said. I say yes. That's right. We got to vote again. Yeah. Just say. Just Let say. Scotty vote. Thing ready? Mr. Mr. Chairman, yes. that is all three cards. All three cards. Okay. That's the motion. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. I have 13 yes, one no. Pass committee. Reports from county officials and all departments, including Board of Education. Mr. Chairman, make a motion we uh, re approve all the reports from the county officials and departments, including the Board of Education. I have a motion to have a second. Second. I have a second if I go on. Any discussion? Seeing none, roll call, please. Vote. I'm sorry. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Okay. Reports from organizations receiving funding from the county. Mr. Chairman, Mr. make a motion we, uh, we approve the reports from the um, organizations receiving funding from the county. I'm sorry. So moved, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by Ord, seconded by Kids. Any discussion? Vote, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Moving on down to information. Uh, November 22nd is the last day for the opioid in app negotiation class for the opioid suit. Mr. Mayor, I think that the we'll recommendation be. from your attorney is to remain as a no Okay. Do I have a motion? I so move. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Bear. You get that. Motion by Goins, second by uh, Lambert. Any discussion? Vote, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. That's committed. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to make certainly clear to say no action. What you're doing is saying 
that you don't want to withdraw from the class. Leave, leave the it leave it where it's at. All right. I think the motion should reflect that. Reflect that so that they will have that for our attorney. That we wish to stay in. Yes. Mr. Corn, is that yes. good with you? Bear, is that good with you? Yes. Do you need to restructure it for the tape? Uh, Joe, would you rephrase that again, please? That the commission accepts the recommendation of the attorneys to remain in the class, Re represented by those attorneys. No objections. I see none. Then the, uh, the, the person making the motion agrees with it, then the second agrees with it. Uh, other matters, we have the three, three star annual confirmation. I'll entertain a motion for that. It's just a three-star award. I'll make a motion, three-star program, Mr. Chairman. Okay. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second his motion. Okay, I'll second my order. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the three-star award. Second. Any discussion? It's my understanding this is something we apply for every year, correct, Mayor? Correct. Vote, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. That's committed. Uh, proposal group life insurance increase sponsored by Mr. Orker. Are you going to bring that up in your section? I can do it now, whichever way. Let's just go ahead and do it now. Okay. We met uh, last Thursday. Well, actually, we met on this beforehand when we did our committee's assignments. Uh, and it, was, it came out of committee with a unanimous approval. Uh, and what this is going to take, and Jeff, I'll just turn Jeff with it. He can give all the, but my motion is to approve this change in the life insurance policies. It will increase our employees. Uh, Jeff, you got the exact numbers. I was looking for mine. I can't find them. Can he second? Second motion. Zach. Okay. I have a motion by Hort, second by Marlowe. It's going to increase our life insurance on our employees. Could you turn it over to Ms. Marlowe here? Yes, I, if I may. Present plan is $25,000 recovery for $25,000 child, $25,000 child, $1,000 gift. Uh, this is the plan that was approved in the last meeting. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, let, let me say, you know, we've talked about this in committee. It, it had to take a tragedy to let us all understand, and, and I appreciate Mr. Marlowe bringing it to the insurance committee's attention, and uh, I appreciate uh, Debbie Cole for doing the footwork on the numbers for us. Voting, please. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Okay, Mr. Mayor. We have a uh, recommendation from the Communications Committee. Tomorrow. Um, the motion is. Well, that, that you, it's on your part anyway. So well, that, no, it wasn't. It was the mayor had it on his part, so I didn't have it on mine. So well, I did it under my part when I had to suspend. Well, you do too. We had education intern program and listened to the uh, and communications committee Monday for broadband. Okay. So it was on that. Okay. I've had it on mine too, Mr. Chairman. I think. Well. My recommendation is to apply. Do I need to do that now or wait till now? You can do it in that okay. uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve applying for the ARC grant. So moved, Mr. Chairman. And that was the recommendation of the communication. Okay, I have a motion. Second. Second by kids to apply for the grant, correct? Yes. And Mr. Chairman, uh, I think the committee also wants kind of some kind of uh, action taken back from someone that has authority to let us know where we're going to be standing at. Uh, this questions arose um, 
quite a few times over the years, and I don't think there's a commissioner in here that's against doing this. It's just doing it right. I have asked the Attorney General for an opinion. So once we apply for the grant, then we'll move forward from that, correct? All right. Mr. Baird. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Baird. What's wrong about her? <laughs> <laughs> Did we vote on this? <laughs> You go to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> we vote on this. Yeah, that this is not obligated to the committee for no money until we can apply for it, and then we get the grant. Then we come back and we vote again on, on where we spend the money. Okay. Right. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank Mr. Davis for clarifying me and Mr. Ork uh, on on the uh, through the committee. I appreciate you guys clarifying it for you. me. All right. No other discussion. Voting, please. <laughs> Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Apply for the grant, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Officer Darty is here from the Sheriff's Department. Uh, we do have a, a surplus issue that we would need to suspend the rules to consider. Um, Mr. Chairman, make a motion we suspend the rules. If that's Second. Motion have in order. By Davis to suspend the rules. Third floor over the Officer Darty. Oh. Hang on just a second, kid. We got, we got a vote. Second. I've already got a second. Motion by Ork, seconded by Davis. To suspend the rules. Voting please. Just to suspend the rules. Butch. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 Indeed. yes. Now, now Kenny, come on up. Where it is we have a 2012 Dodge Challenger. Uh, this was a seized vehicle, and we can only keep a vehicle for five years before we have to either auction it or trade it. The drug task force is willing to trade this vehicle for a Nissan Road, 2012 Nissan Road. Both vehicles have 60,000 miles each. Uh, the only difference is Nissan Road is a all-wheel drive fit. Uh, we need this vehicle to, number one, get rid of the challenge because its time is ran out. The road will be replacing it and also a vehicle that is being driven right now that has 190,000 miles on it. Chairman, there is no cost of exchange that's needed for We'll have to surplus our vehicle. I'll make a motion we surplus our vehicle and then whatever they need to do on Second the Second that, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion by order. Second by kids to surplus. The challenger. Mr. Marlow. Mr. Chairman, it would be better if you incorporated the motion to approve surplus and can authorize to be traded. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll give the authorization to for the trade. Yeah. You, is your second? Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, do we need the VIN number? Uh, you can have it if you make a copy. If you want to make a copy. Is it an email? Yeah. Hang on just a second. I think we've got an email. Yeah. I'm fine if we don't, but I, just for the records, yes. it might be best. Yes. It might take me a second. To I can find it. It might take me a good to do that, yeah. So it will have to have it in the answer. One's got to be taken off the insurance, and we've got to be correct. Yeah. Mr. Marlowe, can he provide that information to you? Finance? Okay. Any other discussion on that? Voting, please. Vote, oh, Johnny. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Anything else, Kenny? No, I'm good. Thank you, sir. Mayor. Anything else? Uh, Mr. Baird didn't have anything. Mr. Wayne Baird didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. Mr. Davis, you had two requests carried from the lawsuit update. Uh, well, you gave us that the other night, but I don't have about the you're supposed to send off an ask when the legal and illegal report is I don't have an answer back to that. I'll, I'll get that. Okay. That was your second. Okay. 
Okay, yes, Dr. Hart, Mr. Bones didn't give anything to speak, Mark. Tyler didn't. Scotty, you'd ask for he, request he, information on the Veterans uh, Cemetery. Yeah. Okay, we got that it's square. We got that taken care of, and we also got the road deal to square with. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I do have one. Can you, uh, can you give us an update on the Veterans Cemetery that you've got to take care of? I'm sure there's some parties yeah. like to hear about. Yeah, okay, we need well, uh, mayors, you uh, you got. So, school board act. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try to do the uh, upgrade property down there, or school board do That was the uh, Benton Cemetery that the Oak Grove. Or when it's too more loud, Oak Grove, or it's too more loud, Baby Chapel, or? Oak Grove. I think it's the Oak Grove. Yes. John, e Mr. Chairman. Yes. And it's been a while. We may need to pull those a minute. I think, didn't we trade? Do some trading around for that piece of property. Hey, for school whistles off the support. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So, anyway. Okay. Any other? Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, we met, uh, the Planning Commission met November the 4th uh, concerning uh, a uh, flat uh, increase. Uh, it's uh, to be, it was $25. We're going to raise that uh, fee to $35 plus $10 per lot, and it was voted unanimous for, uh, through the Planning Commission. I just like to have the motion. And you make that motion? Yes, I make the motion. We approve that, sir. Do I have a second? Uh, he's making a motion. What the planning commission is <coughs> moving it from twenty-five. It's to yeah, from twenty-five dollars to thirty-five dollars, Jeff. And then after uh, that, it's ten dollars per lot. It's the, when uh, somebody comes before the planning commission, they're paying a fee. They're increasing the filing the fees. fee. Yeah, and we uh, we have voted that, Jeff, unanimously you know, through the planning commission. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second? There's There's there. There. I have a second by Davis. Do you have a question? Well, I was trying to second his motion. Okay. All right. But, but we're trying to take so they'll come in with a, a plaque that have 10 on it and cost them $25 and it's costing about $1,500 for everybody to vote yes. So the county's losing money on the transaction. Right? It's still making more money, still going to hold $1,000 more, but at least it's just a step forward. And I think they're relining it with other counties just around. And one, just one thing. And also, Mr. Chairman, if I may, how we got this uh, figures that uh, there was some discussion of the alternate uh, Platts uh, submission from uh, fee options used in surrounding counties uh, as a comparison. Okay. Any other discussion? Vote, please. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to Anyone wants to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 13 yes, one no. Okay, Mr. Kitt, that concludes you. Yes, sir. Can I, one more thing, if you don't mind. I just want uh, the fine folks in the second district know everything's running smooth, and uh, we, uh, if we have any problems, with sense, I'm always on Facebook, get in contact with me. Mr. Kitt, the only thing I'll ask you to do is next month, add that to your agenda item at the last call. I'm sorry, and, yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Colmeyer didn't have anything. Sorry about that, Mr. Chairman. You're fine. Ms. Lester didn't have any. Zach, you had several. Okay. Um, got two things. Number one is the Education Committee. We met on the 4th, and we approved a motion. There was a new state law passed that allows us to work with school systems to develop an internship program that would be for credit. And my motion is to give me a motion as chairman of the Education committee the authority to work with the school system to help develop. Mr. Chairman, I'll make that second motion. I have a motion by Marlo, second by Kit. Any discussion? It's at a no cost. Okay. Can he repeat that? I can't hear him over here. Is your the motion is to work with the school system to develop an internship program. Um, it's more than likely going to be a no cost um, and, it, and students would receive course credit for it. All we're doing, I was just asking for his permission to work with the school board. That's all he's asking. There's a motion. That's the motion. You get a yes. second. You yes. got a second back here. Okay. Any questions? Vote, please. Dwayne? Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. 
Tomorrow. Okay, level. and then also um, I was informed that um, Commissioner Lisa Lester will be replacing Commissioner Butch Colmeyer on the Education Committee, and that needs commission approval. So I make a motion to put Lisa Lester on the Education Committee replacing Butch Colmeyer. Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I second that motion. Motion for Marlowe, by Kitts, to uh, remove Mr. Colmeyer off the Education Committee and replace him with Ms. Lisa Lester. Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm sure that's fine with Mr. Colmeyer. Yeah, he said yes. Mm -hmm. We got it confirmed, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Thank you. Voting, please. <coughs> Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. Fourteen yes. Marlo? Okay, we got we already did the ARC grant, and I do want to just take a second and congratulate Mr. Oric, Mr. Kitts, and Mr. Bruce for being named vice chair of the TCSA Education Committee. Thank you. Uh, I see Miss Sue doesn't have anything, but Miss Sue. It is great to have you back. Well, thank you. Good to see that. Yes, yes. All right. Mr. Ward. Um, we actually been the insurance personnel committee was put in place. Uh, about a week ago, and we've been busy. It seemed like about every night, but uh, we met last Thursday on the on the credit cards and the travel policy, and Ian's all got an updated version of the travel of the credit card policy, uh, the credit card usage policy. I make a motion. It's going to be a, a couple of motions, but a motion to approve the revised edition of the credit card usage policy. So move, Mr. Chairman, and to include the travel credit card acknowledgement and authorization form that's on the back sheet. Okay, I have a motion by order, second by Marlowe. I don't know. This is it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Quinn. Any discussion? We'll go over. Mr. Marlowe, do you have that there? You could read it. What the? And is this one card or two cards or what we've done? You, you want me to go ahead? He's wanting to know how many cards and stuff have been issued out of the committee. Now, just a second. What we're approving. Sort of what we're uh, making the motion on, I guess. Just to state, Mr. Orr. This out of I did, and what we did is it's they, they some things brought to our attention, and it, it's tweaking. And this, I think, makes the fifth time that we've tweaked this policy since we started the credit cards. And uh, the committee decided to take one of the cards down, which is Andy's cards. We only have two cards: one for the mayor, and one for the secretary of the commission, which is Johnny's card. And there's seven different items. If you have your policy in front of you, and it's probably known, it's, it was emailed to you from yeah. finance. There's nine different items that authorizes the travel-related expense of the, of the mayor's card and the commission's card. Uh, we took number um, seven out, which is uh, out-of-county meals. So now, out, no meals can be purchased with the credit card if you're doing any traveling. So that's been took out. You have to do a per diem or a cut a check prior to that. And uh, all the rest of it remained the same. There was a, a, somewhat of a lot of discussion about industrial prospects, and uh, I think we end up leaving pretty much it alone. Uh, and, it, and that emphasized industrial prospects. But there's a sheet that's attached to the back of this policy, and it, it breaks down the card holders, and I don't want to go in, unless you want me to read it, but we'll be a few minutes. Uh, it more or less just breaks it down and tells who's in charge and, what's, and what you're supposed to do with the card. And if the if for some instance the card is, and I say swapped, if it's used for something negative, you all understand we have to pay for the credit card. It has to be paid for regardless once you use it, or you pay a percentage. But if there's something that we do not approve, it's not being done by the finance, they're not the, the watchdog of this, we are. When we decided to do this years ago. So each month we'll have a portion of this, and me and Johnny had actually talked about it that night also, he attended, uh, to 
look at each one of these items and on both cards. And if there's something that falls in these guidelines that is not supposed to be there, then it has to be reimbursed back to the county. If it's not reimbursed, then we give the authorization to the finance department to take it out of their check, whether it's Johnny's check or the mayor's check. And that was basically it. Anybody want to add anything else? Mr. Chairman, I have a question for Mr. Ork. Uh, we, uh, the ones that we took out, I know, was the meals. And what, can you tell uh, while well, just it. that one? Okay. Now, uh, my understanding, he uh, he still is going to get the same as we get forty dollars per. Is that right? Yeah. That, we're not changing anything on the per diem. Okay. Nothing's changed. Uh, it's just everything stayed the same. The only item took out is our card cannot be used for meal purchases, right. and the mayor's card can't be. Thank you. And Mr. the Ford. other thing is we're going to two cards now. If 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 Andy decides that we're going to he's going to do some traveling abroad in the next six months. The committee said we'll look at it and reissue a new card, you know, so he can actually use the mayor's card if he needs to to book rooms or whatever. Okay. And they also place on there for you and Mr. Mayor to sign that you understand and agree to the, and if you all don't sign, you give your card up, and if you all sign it, you're accepting what the committee had put forth. And it would come out of your paycheck. Yeah, and that, and, and, uh, and the mayor, you, you're, you're, he's concurred all the way through committee with it. The only thing the mayor had was on the front sheet, and that's been changed, that Johnny's name be added also next to the county of mayor, because he is our county commission uh, chairman. So you'll have three signatures tonight. Plus, I guess the signatures on the back page need to be signed, and it probably needs to be notarized. <laughs> I'm just joking, but that's my motion. Before we move on, also, Mayor, you know, we talked about, you know, the industrial recruiter, you know, and, and, you know, prospective businesses coming to Campbell County, and you took them out and stuff and everything that you can come back and give us an update on the discussion and, you know, you know possibilities. Okay. Every, you know, some report every workshop when he's going to go, if he's got some yes. schedule in front, and then when he gets back, right, Mr. Mayor? So we would know. Yeah. And that was yeah, that was from him. That wasn't nothing, right. no motion. So we agreed to yeah. Okay. We'll be voting on this place. Any other? I guess not. Good deal. <laughs> what else? Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Moving on. Um, also, that same night, uh, we actually talked about. Uh, our per diem uh, and it wasn't to increase it like some of them I guess are hoping but uh, is, if you and all have traveled at one, at one certain point I've did it for a while Johnny has uh, we get a per diem of 80 percent up front and they cut us a check from finance we come back and we get 20 percent to me that's it's just if you're going to go into the committee meetings or whatever you're going on, Johnny is our chairman, or whoever the chairman is will sign off, which gives us authority to make that trip. We agreed in the committee, and it was voted on, and it was approved with every committee member that was present to approve it being changed actually to 100%. So if you decide here in March, I think it's the day on the hill that we go to, you'll be cut that per diem. Not only us, that goes the entire travel policy am I correct Jeff for everybody in the county so yeah they've got their own they've done change theirs a few years back but to me it, it to me and the committee it doesn't make any sense to have a small check cut just do it all if you don't attend you've got to return that money back anyway so my motion is to approve the change uh, motion to approve the revised travel policy change of the 80 100 percent per day 80 to 100%. I got a motion by Ork, seconded by Davis. Okay, just for the record, for the LaFollette Press and WLAF, um, this is not giving the commission a raise. It's just adding the other 20% onto our uh, travels and uh, expenses at all at one time instead of separating the 20%. I think Mr. Ork. I know, but I just want well, for the record, Mr. Chairman. Well, I think his Thank you, Mr. Chairman. His Thank you. Was for the record. Thank you, sir. Any discussion? It's, it, it is no change money wise. It's just you're getting one check instead of two. Voting, please. Anyone wish to change the vote? We've got another oh, vote. Mr. Davis. 
Vote again. All right. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. One more thing, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm sorry that this was kind of thrust upon me later this evening, but I need to, and I'll go ahead and make the motion to suspend the rules. It's about a House bill and a Senate bill that's coming down on for ambulance service, which means money. And I want to suspend the rules so we can hear this and we can send it to the state. I have a motion to suspend the rules, seconded by Davis. Uh, any discussion on suspending the rules? Mr. Mm -hmm. please. Everyone wish to change their vote. Show the vote. 14, yes. Mr. Ward, rules have been suspended. And I know you are all about trying to get every dime what we can get back into the county, and, and, and I'm sure everybody's going to agree on this. But this, uh, Jay had, had brought it up. I think it came out of the EMS uh, Directors Association. They're actually asking the state representatives, state senators, a House Bill 1175 and Senate Bill 1469, which directs the 10 care to reimburse ground ambulance providers at a rate not less than the current medical fee uh, schedule. Uh, TASA and the, and the governor and the bill sponsors have requested that the funding at $16 million at statewide. Uh, it's a big wish list, but we hope it happens. For this much need change provided with the governor's uh, uh, 2021 budget, and uh, said, note this language is a bill is only a caption bill, so we understand how those caption bills can fall in place. Amendments filed during the su uh, summer study and addressed the intent bill for use. but. It'll bring more money into our ambulance service, and not only ours, but all county-owned, not not other providers, but county-owned services. Am I correct? Okay. And my motion is: we do a resolution to send that to our state representative and state senator. Motion for second. And then we fully approve it. Okay. Mr. Mr. Bruce is wanting to raise his hand. Bruce. Yes. Uh, there will be a resolution about the tax that will be sent out. They're still doing the verbiage. So they probably use the first week of December. So as soon as that resolution comes to me, I will make sure it gets to you. Mr. Norris will put it through the meeting of the commission. And I'll, I'll actually hand deliver it to the appropriate ones on the on TCCA. And I'm sure they're not going to turn this down. They're just like us. They're wanting every dime they can get for their services. Okay, one thing I need from the whole commission is to be sure to please talk to uh, Representative Powers and Senator Yeager. Because I have them support this. Uh, this is what we're best things to be in the pipeline. Voting, please. Anyone wish, to, oh, Anyone wish to change their vote? Show the vote, please. 14 yes. Mr. Ward, anything else? No, I think that covered. We took care of the life insurance, and, and I really appreciate the, the help the committee did. We met, met a couple times, and uh, and I had a good showing at these committees. Uh, but the life insurance thing is actually a blessing. I've already, the school board approved it, but the county commission actually is the one that approves any, any insurances. They approved it in their end. And I've had a few people that seen it in the press last week that was tickled because it kind of gives them a little bit of protection for their family and their spouse. Houses. Uh, and I appreciate Jeff again. And Jeff came up with this, and it was a tragedy that caused it. But hopefully, we'll take care of our employees a little bit better. Again, thank you, and thank you And the cost of it was 847 employees at 29, 27,000. Mr. Stanfield. No, I don't have anything. We answered mine last time about kilos. Okay. Anything else before this coca? Mr. Chairman, very late this afternoon, I sent the commission uh, and Ms. Rogan a uh, request from the Campbell County Register of Deeds. We took up part of this last month. There's some revisions that, that, that need to be made. And uh, you, you have the CFC memorandum of understanding agreement uh, between. Uh, Campbell County uh, and CSC and there's a uh, electronic reporting memorandum of understanding uh, between the Campbell County Register of Deeds and Business Information Systems 
and then there is a joinder agreement which allows well, I subscribers to be utilize this service and if you'll recall the intent of it is to uh, allow people to record deeds and other instruments electronically and they pay a fee for doing that on the other end it doesn't cost the county anything the software is provided yeah. through the so yeah. and, and the, uh, the other company the CSC is, is the one that, that sort of uh, operates as the, the gate the gatekeeper that, that goes to uh, companies that want to utilize it and they sign up for that service mr marlowe and i have, have picked at this thing for about a week and, and it just has gotten kicked back and forth uh, i think that what we've got here is very very close there may be some very minor adjustments that would need to be made to it but i think it's ready uh, for the commission to act on it if you if you can approve it tonight uh miss june turner next to be asked for that so that we can move forward with it and if there's if there are minor changes that would need to be made that uh would authorize us to to make those we need to suspend the rules yes yeah, mr chairman i make a motion to spend the rules on the joint agreement uh, and uh that's my motion I have a motion by kids second by davis voting on suspension please anyone wish to change their vote show the vote please 14. now Mr. Coker, I think you've explained it to us pretty well, so I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion on the joint agreement and uh, we move, move forward. I have a motion by Kitts. Okay. You want to approve the memorandum of understanding agreement between Campbell County Register D and BIS? And you also want to approve the joint agreement to allow subscribers to the parties that agreement and the existing agreement between Treasurer and per mr marlowe's per the advice from uh, mr uh, marlowe and, and uh, judge coker um i was going to do that but these guys cut me off pretty that, quick here that's, that's your motion? <laughs> yeah yes sir it is <laughs> i got a question i, well, I need a second i have a second by davis you want any questions <laughs> The electronic company, they're going to make sure we get paid for the recording? Yes, the okay. recording fee has to be paid in order to record the data. But we'll get the money from them or we get it from the actual customer? Well, the customer is the one that ultimately comes from, but it will be transmitted through. Just like a title company, basically. Yeah. And uh, my understanding, Joe, this don't happen a lot in our county. It's uh, other people's unit outside the county. My understand I spoke to her about this. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's mostly used by people that are from Ohio, Kentucky, uh, Alaska. You know, what most people that are here would would use it, but occasionally that they would. All right, thank you. Voting, please. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show the vote, please. Fifteen yes. Mr. Coker, that takes care of you. Before we close, Mr. Court, you had a, I have some good news. Uh, we can finish on the good news. We can. We've been waiting a couple of years. We've actually got everything back on our FERC test. And uh, uh, Mike Caldwell with the state he called me last week, and I think he may have talked to to the chairman of the red committee. Uh, we're going to be able to put 40 plus sites in at Long and Jordan Park. It's going to actually it's going to actually support 4,000 gallons per day, and that's going to be like a 40 RV size. But if we actually ask for a variance like some of the sites already has in Campbell County, we're going to get maybe 50 RV sites. So we're good on the sites. So we need the next phase is is the rec committee needs and Jeff can correct me. I guess they need to start the ball rolling with design and and the hiring of engineer odds and ends. Am I correct? Call him, provide me a list of 
available on time. It's called a low pressure system for the sewage sector system. And um, I'm going to send out emails with those names to the partners. But yes, you're all at the stage now where we were scratching around out there and we've got uh, just a little bit more work to do on the weekend that this stuff we were trying to get done in house and any of them got any influence on folks who can build go back and use chop rock and uh, trying to build that up and as soon as we get that part harsh and we also need to cut in get black top and, and get shot rock. Theater, and that's all from the contract for the three. But as soon as that is finished, then you get a spot for the three years and whenever you wish to hire take over that project, design your uh, infrastructure for it, the civic system, and also hope that same engineer can be in a position to design the layout of your uh, Park. RV sites as well as your bathhouse. And as soon as you can get through that process, the factory we can hit the ground running come um, good weather in the spring and try to get that knocked on out. That's the, the plan. We've taken about as far as we can for boys, you know, so it's about to get the spot where uh, turned over somebody else. You guys have to take some action to get somebody out there that knows something about something because me and Jay, we don't know anything about nothing. Gotcha. But it's it's worked out good for us. It's it's a good sign. <laughs> Thank you. So entertain a motion. I make motion. Adjourn. Yeah. End the journey. <laughs>